Good morning. Alright, I'm going to show you how to remove an alternator from a 2003 Hyundai Santa Fe. Uh, it has a 2.7 liter V6 engine. Um, it took me probably about six hours to figure all this out yesterday. Um, should not have taken that long. The reason why it took so long was because just the information online was uh, a little bit here and a little bit there and once I finally got it all together about 9.30 ish last night I finally got the alternator off so uh, go over a few tips or safety tips real quick um, number one if it's going to be over 90 degrees get your little fan um, of course you know how to jack the vehicle up and safely put a chalk behind it so that it will not roll and then of course don't trust just the jack alone have some additional support and I've got a stand right there right there and even right there because I do not want a couple of thousand pounds to lay down on my chest while I'm underneath there now <clears throat> first thing of course you get your passenger side tire off uh, and then there is a right here there's a cover It goes right in there. I'm not going to stick it in there right now, but uh, it goes right in there. You've got to unbolt it. The bolts are up underneath there. There's one of the bolt holes right there. Um, there's two more right there, one there, one right here. But anyway, there's a total of four bolts that hold it together or hold it up. Just take those off, and then after you do that, there is, you'll see the tension pulley right let's see if I can get it right there, there's the tension pulley and I've got my light shining on okay, you see the little square to the right of the screen right there I don't want to shine my light directly on it because it may, well there, we're at the brightest spot right there that one little square what you do is take your socket wrench and just get it inside of that square I don't think I'll be able to hold my flashlight the camera and the socket wrench at the same time but anyway you can figure it out you get the square of your socket wrench into that hole yeah you need a square in there and then once you do you just crank it down like this and it's got some good pressure on it so you just crank it downward like that and your belt your serpentine belt will loosen or slacken and then with your other hand just reach over here where your alternator is at uh, your alternator will sit right in here you take the belt and just pop it off of the pulley on the alternator and then after that oh yeah one thing I forgot to mention you want to disconnect your battery. Uh, I disconnected the negative terminal and just stuck the wire right down here. <clears throat> now, if you want to see your alternator from the top, you'll look downwards right here. See that big old empty hole? That's where it's at. Now, there's two wires to disconnect from the alternator. One of them is this. Uh, one that has a bolt on it, I think is your main power one right here. And then you have your other one that goes to this. And I hope y'all can see it's it's early in the morning and the sun is pretty bright. Um but anyway, the uh I think I think it's powers like your accessories and stuff or something. But anyway, it's just another wire. I don't I don't know exactly what the wires are. I'm not a professional mechanic by any means. But anyway, the other one's right here. And uh, there's a little clamp right here that has, uh, it just holds another wire. Um, so, first of all, what I done was I disconnected this clamp right here. It was just a little piece that um, all I done was behind here I just squeezed a little tab and it popped right out. It's real easy. Uh, and then, of course, 
for this one right here when, when you're all center sitting in there um, I found this one to easiest to go to the top of the engine down to it but anyway there's a little rubber boot on it you just take it off and I was trying to remember what size bolt was on it I think it was it was either a 10 or a 12 millimeter anyway you, you'll figure it out it's uh if you're mechanically inclined you'll you'll know how to figure out which size bolts it was <clears throat> but anyway and then you have this uh other piece or other wire that goes right in here this one took me a while because i could not figure out how to get to it uh, or how to uh, disconnect it without breaking it or you know pulling pulling the wires out of the actual uh piece that uh clips in there and the reason why is because the part that you actually, the tab that you actually press is on the inside of the engine, towards the engine. You know, it's, if you're sitting there beside your uh, passenger side tire and you're trying to reach around, which there's not enough, much room in there to begin with, um, and you're trying to reach around, you can't see this side right here. And uh, the best way that I was able to take care of that was I actually went underneath the vehicle I don't know how well I'll be able to get a view but I went underneath the vehicle from this side and right now you see there's the back side of the passenger side tire uh, mount all the brakes and the assembly and everything right there the tire sitting over there um manifold and everything right here this is the passenger side drive shaft that we're looking at right here and right looking up in this direction is how i actually saw it and as a matter of fact you see the one um metal bracket right there that, that does not have anything attached to it um, and again I'm having difficulty pointing because I do not have a third hand uh, yeah that was a little joke probably corny but okay um, but that bracket is actually the I think that was where, where the top bolt on your alternator is at <clears throat> so anyway from this point you'll be able to see that little tab on that wire and you'll easily be able to pop it off in no time it won't spend nearly an hour trying to figure that one out um, then after that all you've got are the two bolts now you notice uh, this little bracket that holds on to the drive shaft for the passenger side tire I'm shining my light on there's a lot of forums out there that talk about well, you need to take off those two bolts to lower the drive shaft to get the bottom bolt of the alternator out. I can't tell you how long I spent trying to mess with this thing. And every time I felt like I was about to strip those nuts, those bolts. And so uh, I, I just stopped because I didn't want to strip them, didn't want to mess something up. Um, and so I just kept on trying to find information. And everybody says, unbolt the alternator and wiggle it and pull it out. Unbolt the alternator, wiggle it and pull it out. But the thing that they don't mention is how it's actually in there. And so that's what I'm going to explain. This is my most difficult part about the whole thing. Um, I don't know how. I'm definitely over two hours. I'm sure I'm trying to figure this out. How to get the alternator off? Because there's just two bolts holding it on. Um, let me show you where those bolts are at. When you're looking at your alternator in there, you've got one bolt right here, which is actually a nut on this side, and the bolt goes through it. And then you've got your other bolt that goes up here. Uh, this nut, or this bolt right here, just slides out. It has a square head on it, so you're not going to deal with were, or you're not going to have to hold on to the this side of it while you're pulling the nut off of this side. 
and of course you'll have to transfer this over to your new alternator when you get ready for that um, <clears throat> but as far as getting the alternator actually off after after you take those bolts off back here behind the driver uh, the passenger side wheel assembly right here is your CV axle going to the passenger side tire you see that kind of a slot right there Let's see if I can get my finger on it this right here the bottom bolt of the alternator slides right down inside of it you don't have to pull it all the way out to the back because if you try to pull it out to the back you will hit that bracket right there this bracket there you good shot this bracket that my fingers on you'll hit that bracket with that square head bolt and this is the bracket that we were looking at from underneath that holds your passenger side assembly or the uh, drive shaft that bra the the bolt will not go all the way out it just hits it and the thing that nobody tells really tells I saw it on a diagram I, I wish I remember the website so I could uh, give them credit in the comments um, but I, I don't remember it now uh, but all you have to do is take after you take off both the bolts and disconnect both of the wires you'll probably need both of your hands but you just take the alternator and you lift it upwards to the left you just upwards to the left and that's it you'll have to kind of wiggle it to get it out but upwards to the left and it'll come right out and then of course after that you just work it out through this hole right here and then you're good to go and all you have to do is just install the other one which I, that's what I'm about to do is install the new one uh, I don't think I'm going to have any complications uh, because I understand how to remove the old one and if you're mechanically inclined if you can remove the old one I don't think I need to explain how to install the new one um, because it's just the same steps just in the opposite order uh, and so that's it and then of course uh, well I guess the one thing is you know just be sure to uh, I just run over them real quick of course you'll put the new one in put your bolts on there uh, this is let me show you this right here this right here is the little clamp that I had to uh, disconnect from that from the side of the uh, alternator and of course on the new one there's a little slot I just slide that back in there so we'll have to connect this we'll have to connect I don't know if I can get a good shot of it we'll have to connect this this is my power uh, cable right here and um, tighten the two bolts and I've got a, I think I've got yeah right here this is the wire piece that I took so long trying to figure out how to disconnect it and I don't know how well yeah, you can see I think you can see it pretty well right here is the tab or the clip that holds it on and that took me so long because that piece right there is facing inward to the engine and when it's plugged in it's like that and so that tab I, I couldn't see it from where I was at couldn't even see it from the top of the engine but anyway, you got those three little wires to hook on. You got your two bolts to hook on. And then, of course, after that, be sure to get your wrench, socket wrench. Reach up there, grab your tensioner pulley, pull it back down, and put your serpentine belt back on it. Let your pulley go. And, uh, and put your tire on. Take the jacks out from underneath it, and you'll be good to go. That'll save you probably thousand dollars or more. Who knows? Um, if you do it yourself compared to taking it to the shop.
I don't even want to talk about shop stuff uh, right now because uh, in my other video I talked about replacing the battery in that journey well just earlier this week I had to take that to the shop to get the PCM replaced that was not cheap um, so it's been a very expensive week on vehicles had to replace the battery because of the bad alternator so now I've got the new alternator so it's been a pretty expensive week um, I don't think I've spent this much money on vehicles in one week ever so hopefully I'll never have to do it again but anyway um, that's it and uh, I definitely hope that your experience on changing the alternator in your vehicle or whoever's vehicle you're doing it for is a whole lot shorter than uh, mine uh, any questions just uh, post them down below and I'll get to you as soon as I can and I hope you enjoyed I hope it was informative uh, hope I didn't leave anything out I don't think I did um, but hey you know what this vehicle was paid for? For two hundred dollars for a new alternator, new battery. That's the only expense aside from gas and oil that I put into it this year. We're in June right now, and so it's not too bad. All right, have fun.